Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you are a student, a researcher, or just someone trying to make sense out of your research papers, then you're going to love this very tool that I'm going to share with you today. Today, I'm going to introduce you to SciSpace, an AI-powered research assistant that helps you read, understand, and interact with research papers like never before. Whether you are struggling with complex terms, or you want a quick summary of a paper or need help asking smart questions about what you are reading, SciSpace can do it all for you. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to use it to boost your research and save hours of work. So without taking much of our time, let's dive into it. All right, so to begin with, let us start by learning how to access SciSpace. You can access it by coming to your browser, go to the search bar and just type in SciSpace or you can just click on the link in the description and it'll be brought in over here. So this is SciSpace. This is the chat area. These are some of the tasks that you can give to it to carry out. You can do a deep search. You can attach document, maybe a PDF document, and you can have a direct chat with it. So let's start by accessing or logging in. You can sign up directly or you can log in with an account if you already have an account. Let's say I have an account and I'm just going to log in with it. So I'm just going to click on it and then I'm going to select the account that I'm going to use. Okay, so upon login, this is the platform that you'll be welcomed with. So this is the new chat area. You can always click on it to start a new chat. Then these are tools that you can access, okay? You can chat with PDF, do literature review, do AI writer, find topics for your research. If you are a PhD or master's or even undergraduate student, you can find research topic from here, or you can do paraphrase something like the QBot that can paraphrase a content for you. You can do AI detector. You can be able to detect an AI written content with this tool, or you can do citation generator. All you need is to copy a title of a paper and then you can paste in here and it is going to give you the citation, but in text and a referencing. You can extract data from any document and you can do PDF to video. You can do any of these if you're interested. For now, let's start with the beginning. And let's say we're going to start with chat PDF. So over here, you're going to upload a document. So let's say I'm going to upload one of my papers that I've just downloaded today, this one, and then you can just import it. Let's say we are going to use a notebook or you can create a folder if you want to have it inside a folder. So for example, let's say we are going to put it inside a folder and then we can say upload this. And as you can see, it has just uploaded our document in here. You can see it. So this is the document that we have. You can search and you can ask questions directly from here, from this paper, or you can come over here and chat with it directly. So these are some sample chats, questions that you can ask based on this paper that you have just uploaded. For example, you can say, explain the results, paper summary, data sets used, summarize introduction, related papers. You can use all of these to enhance your access or usage of this particular paper. So let's say for this, I'm going to ask something general, generate a summary of this paper. Okay. So you can just click and you can see so many other suggestions that you can have. So this is going to give you a direct summary of this paper. And as you can see over here, it has just given us a direct summary evaluating participatory modeling for flood risk management. And that is very, very correct. You can scroll through to be able to see what it has generated for you. So fantastic and nice. Take a look at all these sections and it even gave us a very, very interesting conclusion and even some quick ask questions that you can further ask the questions to generate or to have more features. So this is really, really interesting. Another thing that I found exceptionally useful with this particular AI tool is that you can highlight any section and then ask it to explain the section for you. So let's say we have this section. I can just highlight it. Let's say I select this section, I can right click and say explain this text, summarize this, get related papers to this, or highlight this text for me, or save this to my notebook if you want to save it. And I can just say probably explain this text, and you're going to see that it is going to explain exactly this section that I have just highlighted from the paper. Okay, so this is the section, and then this is the explanation. It does giving me the evolution of participation in flow risk management, the main idea, the expansion of details, our reasons for the shift, and you can see international mandates for participation. It has given me full explanation with 
key terms or they are about that are used in this particular section. So this is how wonderful this can be. You can as well select any section, any diagram and ask it to explain it to you. For example, I have this chart, okay, this diagram, this flow chart. I want you to explain. You can just come over to this, explain math and table. Let's click on it and then let's have a selection of what we want it to explain. Okay, so we want it to explain the whole of this. Even without the figure, you can just release and it has taken the picture and it's going to give you a full explanation of what this diagram means. And you can see fantastically, it has explained everything, comparing conventional and participatory flood risk management modeling. You can see everything, all the details it has given us, conventional modeling process, diagram A, and then it explained the concept, diagram B, explained the concepts, and you can see all through the key terms used in the diagram, it equally explains that. So you can kind of virtually relate with this paper directly. If you like, you can just pick in any figure and ask it to explain from the paper. So for example, you can go ahead and ask for the question and say, can you explain figure five? in the paper example this is figure five and then let's see whether it is going to be able to explain that for us and you can see when the fully it has picked in strengthen the variation networks in flood risk management and that is exactly it has picked in directly and look at the explanations it has given with references to all the points that it has captured so this is really really wonderful if you want equations explanation as well all you need is to click on the math and table explanation you can select the equation and it is going to pick it and then explain it to you directly once you release your hand it is going to take a picture and it's going to give you a full explanation of what that equation is and what it means and why it is in that particular location of the paper. So you can see the details of course of the equation, what it means and all the details that is required including the terms used and so on. See the details of it. So this is wonderful in terms of how to use this. So you can chat with it, ask any question from your paper and you can of course go ahead and explore this and see what you can do with it. Now other features that are interesting that I want to share with you include the use of this library which you can upload more papers, maybe more than one paper and you can have access access to it directly and then you can be able to play around with things. You can access more than one paper and you can even compare the research between two or more papers. You can click to add more papers. Yeah. You can import more than one paper and of course chat with it. So another thing that I think is very, very useful is this AI paraphraser or citation generator. You can have this citation generator and you can make use of it. All you need is just to copy the paper title and it's going to generate a citation for you. So all you need is just to copy the title of the paper and just paste it in here and then it is going to generate the citation. One thing to note is that you can have the citation in any format. For example, this is the upper seventh format. If you use Vancouver or any of the referencing, you can check from here and select from the one that is available for your school and you can easily search also directly from here. For example, I can say Vancouver. You can see Springer Vancouver, I can select in here. So all you need is to paste in the title of the research paper. So for example, I have this, let me just copy this, Ctrl C, and then let's go back to this citation generator and we can just paste this in. It is going to automatically fetch in the paper. You can see it. And uh, once you select the paper, you can see the details of the paper. Okay, and once you click on site, this is going to generate the citation. This is the main citation and this is the in-text citation using the Vancouver method. Okay, so that is it. You can just go ahead and copy or you can save as if you want. Or if you want, you can select as many as you want. You can select them and you can go ahead and copy or download the citation directly or you can add them to your write-up. So this is another key feature that I kind of like using when it comes to this particular AI tool. Now, another thing that I very much like about this site space is that it has an inbuilt Chrome extension that you can just add and whichever page you are, you can chat with the document or with the page, with the blog or any paper that you have. So let me show you how to add the extension. You can come all the way over, over here. You can come down here. You can see Chrome extension. You can see it. It's available even in chat GPT. You can add it up in chat GPT. Now, once you're here, you can just go ahead and say add to Chrome. And this is going to add this to your Chrome as an extension. So let me show you the beauty and the wonders of this Chrome extension that you have in this particular tool. 
Now, once you add it, you can click in over here and you can see the size space extension. You can just click on this pin and it's going to pin it to your bar over here. You can see it at the top here. So what this means is that you can visit any paper. For example, when we have this paper, you can refresh this and you'll be able to see the size space feature over here. You can click on it and you'll be able to chat with this paper directly on this platform. Okay, so you can do the charting directly. It's going to assess this paper and you can ask questions directly from here. Okay, so on your own, you can highlight to get explanation. You can highlight any section and it will explain. So summarize the content of this web page. You can just click and this is going to continue to do the search for you. You can summarize the content directly and you can have many other sample questions that you can have access to as well. And you can see in a matter of seconds, it has given us all what the page is all about. This is the detail of what it has entailed in that particular page. So if you want, you can do literature review on this as well. So these are some sample questions. You can ask questions on any research or how does climate change impact biodiversity and so on. These are some try asking or searching for these questions and you'll be amazed by how quick it is going to be able to answer those questions. So it's going to move in from that app into the main thing and you can see it has given you from 20 papers, okay, from top 20 papers, you can see the answer. So you can read more directly from here and you can be able to see all the citations that it has given you. You can click on anyone to verify. So one last thing that I want to share with you is the size space agent, which is the newly added feature that they have added to this particular tool. You can access it from here. This is size space agent. You can just click and it is going to bring you over here. So you have the option to upload paper and it is going to carry out the same explanation in a deeper way, but you can go into deep research where you're going to have access to deeper form of research or questions answered and so on. So you can click to add anything or you can say find papers on your own if you want. Find papers on sustainability. Okay. Find papers on sustainability and then you can just go ahead and click on enter to this and this is going to do the one that's for you. Find the papers and then be able to now carry out your research perfectly. So this functions more or less like the normal chat GPT that you have but then with more features. You can see you can see it was showcasing everything from finding the papers and all the details is still running and it's showing you the key details that it is showing you. You can see the papers uh, it has found. See so many papers that it has found that you can actually make use of. So many of them, you can click on any one of them and then you can be able to have more details of it. Sustainability, a business case, you can click on this and be able to have access to that paper and you can continue the search that you started with it. This is the paper. You can ask further questions, for example, the methods used in this paper and it is going to directly just go ahead and study the paper and give you the methods that I used in the paper. And you can see very, very nice. It has given you all the details. So this size space agent is really, really interesting. So conclusions from this paper, you can be able to have access from it directly. You can see wonderfully it has just given you so so much to learn so much to explore in here you can copy and paste it somewhere or add it to your work so let's try one more feature of the size space you can request the pdf if you're interested or save or cite this paper if you are interested as well so let's try one more feature of the size space agent and then we'll call it off so one last thing, let's try and generate a scientific poster generation using this size space AI agent. So let's go back here and let's upload a paper. For example, you can just go ahead and click on this. Uh, let's say we upload this paper. So I want it to help me generate. Well, can we generate a scientific poster from this journal? Yeah. So let's go ahead and say enter to this. You can see it was generating the image. All right. And as you can see, it has just generated it. You can see all the details of what it has generated. You can click to open the PPTX. Uh, this is the paper and this is the poster that it has generated. So you can click to download and you will be able to see what you have created. All right. So this is the poster that it has just created, wonderfully created. So you can just go ahead and explore. I challenge you to explore this feature, this AI tool, and see what it can do to your own research, how you can transform your literature review, paper assessment, and even the way you chat and relate with your PDF document. So this concludes this simple tutorial about the use of SciSpace AI agent. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.